Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the sumx DAX function in Power BI. So I've got uh, this function and um, I've also got the Microsoft uh, documentation open here. And it says for summary, you pass the table name or as the first parameter and the expression that you want to be summed as the second parameter. I've got this file open here. I will upload this to GitHub. And the name of the file is DAX SUMX Functions Power BI. You can download this file and have a look and do the tutorial along with me if you want. So here in the fact internet sales table, I've got uh, this field called sales amount. And what I've done is basically uh, use the sum and the sum x. So the first one total sales is sum of fact internet sales amount. We're not covering sum, uh, we've already taken that up in the previous video. And then we've got sum x. So we're passing the table name fact internet sales and the column that we want to be summed. And let us just look, look at the kind of results that we uh, can expect. So let's just say sum and sum x and sales amount and as you can see all three of them are the same value so let's go further and divide it by uh, calendar year and you can see that it is giving us the same results as well and let us further break this by a product category and uh, break it further. So you can see that all three measures are actually giving us the sale. So the actual column value and then the sum function and sum x are giving us the same values. There are scenarios where uh, sum and sum x may not give uh, the same values and uh, it is good to be aware of them. Uh, I will give you a, a link where you can do further reading and it will clarify this uh, concept further for you. So uh, just to uh, summarize, SumX is an iterator function. So what does that mean? It means that it calculates the values row by row for the current filter context and can end up giving the same results at some function. So it might not be always that uh, sum and sum x will give the same result, but uh, mostly they will. And for additional reading, we've already covered the Microsoft documentation. And I would also suggest that you uh, cover this article by Matt LinkedIn on Excel Accelerator BI to uh, further understand the differences between sum and sum x. And uh, I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you.